Hey guys, welcome back to another Avid Max Fly Tying Tuesday. My name is Max, and today we're going to be tying Dunnigan's Clearwater Emerger. It's a great little uh, mayfly emerging pattern. Um, I like fishing it in the later hours of the day. Um, glass bead on there, you could always swap it out for a tungsten bead, um, but I really think the glass bead kind of brings it all together. So in the vise, I got a 2488H. Um, start out, I'm going to be using some Ultra Thread in the 70 and a blue done. And I'm going to start my wraps just right behind the bead here. I'm going to keep my body really thin so I don't add up too much bulk. So I've got some pheasant tail. Uh, I think this pattern just calls for natural. Uh, today I got brown. Um, so I'm going to use some brown pheasant tail. Grab about you know six to eight pieces of the pheasant tail. I'm going to tie this in right on top. Make sure it's even. Make a couple wraps. And then I'm going to hold my pheasant tail just so it stays on top. And I'm going to kind of link, get to the length of the tail that I'm looking for. So while I keep holding my tail, just making sure it doesn't move, I'm going to go down the shank just past the barb. And then I'll bring thread back up. up. So now I've got some uh, copper wire in the small size. And I'm going to tie this in on the close side to me. Capture that, flatten my thread out. Make sure I make nice covering wraps going all the way down to the pheasant tail here. And really covering everything up with my wraps that go back up to the top. So I'm going to keep going and take my wraps all the way to behind the bead. And that way I got a little bit of a taper. Now I'm going to take my copper wire and I'm going to palmer that. Really three, three, four wraps. So I leave some room for my thorax. Capture that nice even segmented wraps. Make a couple over the top, one in front. And then I'm going to helicopter out my wire. So Got my tail in there, got my abdomen built up. So now I'm going to fold back over my pheasant tail, trying to make them as flat as could be, as spread out as possible. And then I'm going to get some uh, flora fiber here. You could probably just use the pheasant tail to make your, uh, you know, your legs or your wings. I've got probably eight to ten pieces of the floor fiber all together. And I'll make a couple loose wraps. Make sure that those stay on top there. And then I can start backing them down. Make a couple more loose wraps going all the way to the pheasant tail. Slide them all the way back. And then no need to trim that now. Got those right on top of the shank, right over the pheasant tail. So I'm going to take some uh, super fine in the Adams Gray. I'm going to make a very fine dubbing noodle here. You could use some wax, but I don't know if it's necessary because we're just using such a small amount to build up our thorax. Once I kind of got my thorax, you know, to the right proportions, I'm going to take my flora fiber. I'm going to go right over the top. I'm going to do two wraps to secure that, and then I'm going to take a bodkin and I'm going to split them evenly on top. Helps to have them long, so you can kind of pull them down together, like I'm going to do here. So split them evenly, and then with my left hand, I'm going to pinch them down against my vise, 
kind of the angle that I want. I'm gonna make a couple wraps there, which pulls them back. And then my pheasant tail is gonna come back over the top. Same thing, I'm gonna try to make it as flat as possible so it makes a nice little wing case. Got that folded over. Make sure that those are even. And I'll make two tight wraps on top, and then one in front, and then I'll do a quick whip finish. Finish off the fly. Just three turns here. Make sure I don't capture anything. And we're going to come in with the UV, which is kind of going to hold everything together, so that's why I'm just going with the three turn. Snip out my thread. I'm going to trim out my pheasant tail on top here, as tight as I can. So before I trim my fluorofiber, make sure that those are all going the right way. I'm going to come in with my UV thick from Loon and add a nice little glob of that on top of the thorax here. And that really makes the pheasant tail show up. Got a nice little glob on there, a little bit more. Take my bodkin and I'll just even that out before I hit it with my UV torch. I'll make sure it's covering everything up on top. Thread wraps, nice and even. Work it down into the abdomen a little bit. Got that covered up, looks good. As and tail shows through really nicely. Hit it with my UV light. snip out my flora fiber just to the length of the thorax. So we got one side, I'll flip it upside down so I can evenly trim the other side. And I think I cut one side a little long. Trim that down just a little bit. So there you have it, Dunnigan's Clearwater Emerger. Clean up my thread just a little bit. Great fly, like I said, I like it in the afternoons when mayflies are coming off.